you, cool. Hello. Cool chick. I must tell you. What is this? For you. What is it? Well, you're going to love it. Shut the front you door. You are going to love it. I've got some things I have, for you. I was going to post it well, but, like, I... on Instagram, but I thought I don't want to ruin the surprise for her. Oh, my God, I'm dead. Look, guys, best thing about school. Woo, so with your legs Woo! wide open. So good. Hey, Blondie. Hi, gorgeous. You look lovely. Oh, look don't you? you? I love your hair. Do you I love, love it? it. Really? You haven't seen it in the I, flash. To be honest with you, I was a bit wary about it. I know. It. Well, well, everyone did think, you know, well, Wait, it's hi, so we're so busy. I love you so much. I love you. So pretty. So do you, you look like a fresh face. And baby. I slept like I was dead. You know when you wake up in the same position? So like good. Like dribbling everywhere. Um, what have I got for you? Did get the seat hot for you. Hold on. Best get that seat on. I have been freezing. Well, this is what I was going to say to you before we even begin any of the fun stuff. I'm in the wars. Well, baby, been in the wars. <laughs> <laughs> now. I've emotionally been in the wars for. Don't know if anyone's been watching your <laughs> Instagram stories. Oh but... my god, I'm the saddest sad girl. Saddest. I, I I said the other day it was on Thursday when I was like, okay guys, I'm like, I'm ready now to like stop being such a sad girl it's like it's almost I'm, funny yeah you know, it's always funny think... but the thing is you don't want to be fake look at you in your athleisure yeah you don't want to be fake i know be like... no no listen i'm trying to be like a like a posh mom you look like a posh mom in, in, in her full way or like a really sexy wife babe oh. well, i'm in the wars because i i'm a bit under the weather i'm potentially hungover from friday i had to teach with a broken mic therefore my voice sounds like this my fingernail is infected so this finger is agony like it has a pulse Babe, can agony. You see it? Holly was saying that oh, a girl babe. at her work had the same thing and they had to remove, remove the nail. nail. So I've literally had it in TCP all morning. I've been walking around like this. Maybe you should try and take the gel off and see what's happening underneath. I'm too scared. What if it's black, black and blue, like my heart? Oh, no! I looked like last night because I had to sleep like that. With it Why all... have I not seen this? Because I didn't put it up. Babe, it's that bad. Oh, and I slept so funny on my left hand side that I feel lame down one side. Oh, that's the so pits. I've either slept funny or pits. I've had a stroke. Not sure which one. Well, babe, at least you look good. Of all of those things, you still look good. All of those things, look at the hair. Wait, sorry. Okay, right. Let's talk about why you're sick because you've been going 100 miles. I also think when you get I've sad. I've been going 10 miles an hour, babe. I've been going sad girl slow. Oh, yeah. I was no, thinking, that's when am I going to get poorly? That's Because when true. you're sad, normally you get I was poorly. Say, that's actually not true. 10 miles an hour, babe. You've still been teaching, working, filming. That's not 10 miles an hour. That's yeah. 10 miles an hour in the grand scheme of our lives, but like it's not 10 miles an hour for everyone else on planet Earth. <laughs> Like in an oh, ideal world, an I'd, have, I'd have stopped for a week, maybe. Yeah, yeah, which you didn't do. And like, I think that we all forget that like our emotions take such a massive physical toll on our bodies. Like, yeah. I really think we have forgotten. Well, this that. is because my heart isn't the heart on the left side. Yeah, that's babe. why I'm suddenly lame. Guess where we're going then? Where are we going? To Holland and Barrett to get you some stupid <laughs> vitamins. She's so stubborn. No, because Every... babe, I no! won't. No, I don't want to hear it. Even this morning, I woke up, looked at my pill packet. I'm taking it for three days. I thought, oh bugger. Your contraceptive pill. <laughs> yeah. Well, no need for that. <laughs> well, I know, no, no babe. <laughs> saw my peacocks, not for my shagging. <laughs> Never saw my boyfriend anyway. What the hell is in here then? A gonna, Christmas yeah, Am I going to die? Yeah, you're so, you got one too. Yeah, I got one too. And this brand... Were you over the moon? Because you're not normally over the moon with things like this. Yeah, I was Because you've got everything. No, I only am over the moon because this lovely brand that you're going to find out in 10 seconds is so good to us and always sends us stuff. Neon. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, great. Read it first, though, because this is really good. They're donating profits to charity. <clears throat> With the festive season around the corner, I feel like you should sing like Jingle Bells while I'm doing okay. it. Jingle Jingle Bell, Jingle Bell. With the festive jingle season bell. around the corner, jingle we are so bell, happy to share a few pics from our holiday collection. Please find enclosed our 100% natural Christmas wish candle, along with the magical moment of calm duo, with a little treat from our friends at Tony's for you to enjoy as an additional gift throughout December for every three wick Christmas, Christmas wish candle sold on neomorganics.com in or in Neom stores, we will be donating five pound per sale to our long-term charity partner, Mental Health Foundation. Well, if anyone needs that, it's me. Yeah. I'll be signing up, they'll be giving it to me. How good is that? That's really sweet of them. The, the best oh, part is the actual stuff. Is the chocolate. No, it's what the hell? Is that a three? Yeah. Christmas Posh. wish Christmas wish scented candle. I bet that smells like heaven Wait, in a box. It's oh. mandarin. No, it's mandarin, cinnamon, and tonka bean. I love it. You can smell what it. The hell here. does a tonka bean smell I like? I think it's like a cocoa yeah, bean. Yeah, you can smell it when you open that box. It's epic. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Wait, did you that know? That is Christmassy. 
I God. love that smell. It's a bit chocolatey. I would like to, I think that must be the tonka. Oh, that must be I the tonka. I actually would wear a perfume like that. That is so delicious. Well, you'd just be eating up, wouldn't you, everywhere you went? Everyone would be licking you. You'd be eating up, wouldn't you? What's this? Oh, you'd be eating up. Oh, oh another that? one. Candle and hand balm. Oh, that's a good prezi. See, this is the thing. I always say I'm going to gift this stuff and then I just want to keep it. Oh, yeah, no, we'll have to buy <laughs> no, another. Babe. babe, Black Friday. Didn't buy a single thing for anyone else. Not Only a yourself. single. Had exactly the same problem. It was a nightmare. And I'm thinking, great, now I've got no money to spend on anyone else for Christmas. Well, I'll tell you what I did do. I did my dad's, no, my mum's presents from my dad. My dad doesn't buy my mum presents. I have to do it via... Oh, yeah, of course. Everyone, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Everyone so I did that for him. Oh, my God, it's just so sweet. What so a good sweet. Prezi. Like... And a Tony's Chocolone. Wait, they know me too well. Flavor. It's my fave. Milk caramel sea salt, your fave. My fave. My absolute fave. Oh, I'll inhale that. Thank you, Neil. Thank you, Neil. We weren't paid for this, but we just Love want you. to say thank you. We weren't paid for this, but we were hashtag gifted. Gas. Love hashtag gifted. So we have a Monday meeting. Wait, is this new, by the way? Yes. From? Accidentally on Black Friday. Okay, fine. Yep. It's from Naked, N A K D. I don't know whether you say Naked or whether you say N A K D. I think it's supposed to be Naked. Naked. We have a Monday meeting. Yeah, and this Monday, I'm just going to say, as, as I'm so sad, girl, normally I'm all on the like big vision work stuff. I'm in for the gifting. Oh, where's my advent calendar? Where's my bits and bobs? Because I need things oh. to fill my oh, what's void. Up? <laughs> the other day, that bit. About Lily Lemon, <laughs> and they ignored they me. Ignored you because I thought, babe, because they think we've got bigger stuff going yeah. on, and I'm like, well, I don't. I don't have anything bigger going on than my leggings. <laughs> yes, yeah, so I did my my mum and my dad. Babe, you have to take some vitamins. Otherwise, this week is going to be a write-off, and then you're going to get grumpy and sadder. I did teach two spins on Saturday, and actually, it's too much. No, no. It was right after one another, and yeah. it was busy. I thought, what back are you doing here? Back to back, babe. Everyone's getting a shape for Christmas. Apparently, that's a thing now. You're getting a shape before Christmas, so you can no. indulge over yes, Christmas. Yes, I've heard this. Yeah. I think it's pathetic. Well, I mean, you know, if that's what brings you joy, if that you feel babe, then that you can enjoy... Weight I'm not loss saying doesn't bring anyone joy. I'm not it's saying, the saddest thing no, in the world. I'm not saying weight loss. I'm saying getting fit. Sure, different. Different. But this is the problem. And fitness, people think fitness is like a battery. So Maybe it true. is, no, but I would no, say fitness true. isn't like that a battery. It's something you have an upkeep. And once you stop, it just kind of disappears. Then you've got to start from scratch. Like even if I have a week off teaching, yeah. my first class back, I'm like, oh, bloody hell. That yeah, good. that's true. Breathless, yeah, okay, can't but, speak. But like this week, for example, I have not, like I've honestly probably done one bit of exercise. Now I feel like, not because I need to like get fit again, but like I really miss the feeling of working It's nice out. to have it in a routine. Yeah. You're Shoving whole, it in is a bit much no and it, then it's not fun no and I, that's when i don't do it like yeah. on wednesday night i could have gone to a class and i thought i'm honestly gonna fall asleep on my feet why would i do why that would you go myself? how was last night what did i do last night you went for drinks in north london think baylor corn flaker <laughs> oops but look what jack sent me <laughs> that's liam gallagher that's liam gallagher that is fully liam gallagher oh my god epic babe sorry i forgot to tell you i was just to, to say blah, blah, blah. i forgot to say i've had a speech and i this last week and it's really stressing me out you've had your list back. maybe i'm yeah no on another level oh we didn't talk about on another love we didn't talk about nicole scherzinger oh babe tell me everything can i say whoever's managing her needs a raise to the power of 100 her rebrand is next from the corner or from pussycat dolls babe she was like a sex idol was the, she sexy no in the pussycat dolls and oh, sorry, yeah. And now she's doing musical theatre, stripped yeah. back bare naked. Yeah. And I think, oh my. And what is it? What I've never watched Sunset Boulevard. I, it's a story. It's I know everyone loves it. And those tickets weren't cheap. It was Andrew Lloyd, wasn't it? Yeah, it's not the best story ever. A bit oh, nothing happens. A bit nothing -y. Okay. I like a musical when it's like numbers. What's your favourite musical? I've got to say The Book of Mormon. Oh, babe, that's not a musical. Babe, have you seen it? <laughs> no. That is a musical. No, I know it is. Okay, like, like classic You like a big musical. number, don't you like a... Like Les Mis. What are you thinking of? Uh, what, wait, wait. Kid. No, I was thinking Chicago or Hairspray. Phantom Legally Blonde. Phantom of the Opera. Legally Blonde is not a musical. Yeah, it is. Legally Blonde is epic. I want you whipped into shape. And what else do they do? I'm Sorry, my oh favorite. Oh my God. Oh my God, you guys. Okay, what's your favorite film musical? Oh, Mine's Sound of Music. Sorry, what about Mamma Mia? What? Oh You're my God. really old school. It's like Phantom of the Opera and Mamma Mia. How old are you? 55? What a matter now. <laughs> That's ridiculous. <laughs> but I'm going to say, and it's Road, Greatest Shaman. Oh, sorry. This is the greatest show. Absolutely dripping. Come on the light. Are you? Yeah, dripping hot. Dripping, baby. Oh, drip, drip. How are you feeling today, Al, on the scale of one to ten? Yeah, I feel... <laughs> 
I feel okay. It's got to the stage now, girls, which, you know, when you're one step, this is what I say to Holes, because she's a few steps ahead of me in the breakup process, and I think, oh, it's nice to see you over there, because I know I'll get there one day. That's lovely. You keep going, yeah, keep stepping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got to the stage now where rather than having, like, the general, like, underlying sadness at every second of every day, instead I've got, like, to a plateau where now it's ups and downs. Okay. So now instead of being, like, generally sad all the time, I'm, like, normal, normal. Like, I know I'm not functioning on all cylinders, but I feel fine. And then I remember and then I have a really heavy down and then I go back to my plateau normal. So do with that what you will. I don't know whether Babe, that's better or worse this stage. I think that's better because at least the plateau isn't like desperation. And also you can function better in it because like yesterday I just had a huge cry in my car and then I'm gone with my day. Rather than just feeling like constantly. Like sad the whole yeah, day. And you know the worst thing is, this is why you should like lock yourself in a room for a while. I guess that's why people do it. Is it's the like, how are you? And you don't even want to go, yeah, good, thanks. How are you? You want to go, do you know what? I fucking hate everything. Yeah, but you can't because you haven't got the time to sit with everyone and tell everyone. Also, you've got to be selective because do you want to get into it? Do you want to cry? You can't be telling everyone, yeah, to everyone about yeah. it. It's waves now. Like before, it was like constant, like a constant dull ringing. Mm -hmm. And now it's waves. It just hits me every now and then. Should I put some hand cream on? No, I was just joking. you to say that. I should, shouldn't I? Love you. I think that's good. I think that's yeah, part of the process. Yeah, it is good. It's definitely part of the process. And it's definitely like, you just have to let yourself feel all the feels. I'm sleeping, which yeah. is really good. Okay, that's a sign I've as stopped well. waking up in the middle of the night, good. which I'm like, so grateful for because that was like a week of like oh okay, let me sleep. What, and you wonder why you're sick like yeah. of course it's just all of this is just taking a bit of a toll on your body that's must fine. must i even bought my water bottle because i'm not drinking enough water so here i am sorry i just wanted to say that bohemian rhapsody might be one of my favorite musicals of all time but i don't think it's over um a musical. no it does musical film over rocket man every day over rocket man yeah i'm picking rocket man every day no babe bow rap i would say it's in my top three films of all time bow rap bow rap do you know why i know i prefer rocket man why babe i watched bow rap once i've watched Watch Rocket Man ten times. Oh my god, opposite. I've watched mm. Rocket Man. I don't know why. I think for me it's also because Elton John is alive, so it's like so much more stylized to the way that he would want it, you know? Whereas like I feel like Bo Rap is slightly more Almost. unkind towards Freddie. Do you think? Because he has that he whole bit where he's having those parties prick. and oh, yeah. yeah. How do you well so how do you not? Elton John comes across as a prick in Rocket Man. True, that is true. Like really badly. And then in the even in his therapy sessions, he calls himself a does he? Yeah, says the C word. Oh my God. One of my favorite words. <laughs> One of your favorite well, words when you've been with the boys. Babe, the other day I got told off. We yeah. this call. Because Ali, Ali hung out with her posh friends. <laughs> yeah. Their language. They speak like posh kids, don't they? Babe, they're not even the poshest. Not the poshest of the posh. Babe. Well, I suppose the poshest of the posh. In the world of posh. You're right, posh is a posh. quite far down. Also, posh is a posh probably wouldn't say that, would they? No, they would never say that. That's never it. Never say it. Yeah, that's, that's different. Yeah, You're right. Sorry, I got confused. Posh. No, yeah. but that's fine. To be fair, they're like the middle posh. Middle posh. They're not the top posh. They love a sea bomb and ow. She couldn't yeah, stop couldn't dropping. Stop. She was dropping it left, right, and centre. I thought, babe, listen, I'm all for it. I love a swear word, you know me. On the course. And you were on the course with Frilly, bopping a sea bomb, bopping out like it was nothing. <laughs> not even using it to describe I, anything or anyone. <laughs> yeah, <he> just. <laughs> Hunting around the I place. Got, I got a little telling off from Miss Molly didn't here. You? Yeah. Well, I've been. Oh, my temper's about this big at the moment. Okay. My fuse. That's okay. My fuse is I here. I don't let her have it. Saw a really funny thing today. So a really funny thing today. Right there. Let me get it up Babe, on the ground. I'm so happy. You seem much more cheerful. Yes, yes. I'm very, very chirpy. No, you don't have to be very, very chirpy, but you're just not like, you know, desperately destitute. Yeah. Sad, yeah. Which is so But horrible then you then you get a wave of guilt as well because you feel like, oh, God, I'm. No, you know, I'm so gassed because I did the breakup hair, obviously. <laughs> And it did make me feel so good and then I felt guilty for being good because I don't feel like moved on or moving on. I'm in this weird like middle you're zone this, of yeah, not, you're in in the middle. The, yeah. not in it anymore, but also not out of it at all. Like I wouldn't call myself single. Duh. But I am. Babe, it's been two weeks. Right, what do I want to show you? How am I going to find this? I'm worried about your nail. Yeah, I'm worried they're going to have to remove it. What's the other thing that's wrong with you? Your nail, My your lame. heartbreak. I'm lame. Oh, you're lame. Okay. This is how different star signs process anger and it's so good. funny. Okay, gotta find the Capricorn way there. What, mine's like screaming and shouting? Irritating event happens. Yeah. Capricorn processes anger. Phase where they ponder whether it's worth saying something or not. <laughs> that lasts for two blocks. That's me! Yeah, then you go straight up to lays down the law with a firm but problem-solving oriented outlook. Do you do that? No, you kind of explode. Yeah. <laughs> 
then it comes down to mild distrust, but mostly don't give a fuck. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> That's you. That's me. Okay, so just replace the middle bit with yeah, the with totally like, blowing my top. Yeah. yeah. Okay, this is Libra. Irritating event. The avoidance face. Yeah, I love that. Yeah, I keep that for yeah, a while. Yeah. Then I go to enter their villain era by attempting to assert a boundary about said event. <laughs> then I go into guilt phase for asserting the boundary. Oh, that's you. Classic. Then I go right up to the top. Suddenly realise the unfairness of the situation and over-assert themselves as a reaction. Yep. Then back to guilt and relief phase. Isn't that me? That's you. I found that so funny this morning. Are you feeling like that cycle on repeat? With anger? Yeah. No, I have no anger in my body. Not anger, but guilt. And my overriding emotion is guilt. Okay. Guilt and longing. And like a missing. That's really That's normal. really normal. Because also like you're genuinely missing like the... The presence. Yeah. Yeah. The presence, the touch, the habitual things yeah. that you miss. Yeah. Like the texting and the calling. Yeah. And really normal, babe. Everything is super normal as it should be. Yeah. That's the thing, isn't it? That's what you learn. I think everyone has to go through it how they go through it. But also it's quite nice because no, I'm feeling you... all the feelings, but I'm also kind of not because I'm having to function. So I'm not feeling that That's deeply. That's what I mean, is that you weren't a 10% babe. The feelings are all... almost too big to feel. Yeah. Do you know what yeah. I mean? Especially you have to just let them all show over you. Yeah. You can't like interrogate all of those feelings or you just like crumble. It's too much. Apple crumble. Yeah, babe. Well, you look really lovely and your hair looks really lovely. We did a press junket on Wednesday. Yeah. No one knows what a press junket is. I keep saying this and everyone's like, stop being such a wanker. We don't know what a press junket is. So then you have to say an interview. Is that not a thing that people know? It was so weird, wasn't it? Because we have that crazy thing where... Well, it was weird because it felt really normal. That... By the way. I... By the way. I've watched a few others. Yeah, babe. Loads of people take notes in. I know. They, they read off their phones or oh, they have I... notes and like we just learn it off by heart. Look, I don't want to blow our own trumpet. Off book, baby. I know. And we did it. Can I say it was the most, we were so last minute. No, we're that hilarious. Was hilarious. Yeah. Because like if you told us that like six months ago you would be doing this stuff together, we'd be like, oh my God, oh my God. And we were like panic, just, planning. Panic. Like I was so late to get ready, hadn't washed my hair. Like, oh, I got ready in the toilet yeah. there because I was like such we a like mess. each other like, which are the questions? Like, yeah, um, wait, three and five. No, do four and six. No, I think six is funnier than eight. Like all over the shop. Then we're <laughs> learning them on the tube. And then Ali does this before. Do your Superman pose. And then we have to stand there like this. And I just watch her because she's so hilarious to watch. And I'm like this pretending. And then we go in and we just do it. And it I don't want to blow our own trumpet, but some of the, have you seen some of the other ones? Not like they're very serious. Okay, look, I appreciate that there needs to be those serious interviews. But yeah, I someone's got to do the serious right, ones. Right, but not us. like, I just think ours are better, you know? I just think, we're better. <laughs> I have row one probably and drives it more and drives home town. Yeah, well, because basically I expected it to be either the two main actors or the writer. Me and too. It was, it was none of well, them. We were told that they were. That's who they were going to be. Then we go in, and I'm honestly shocked because I think, oh, I've seen you before. So hilariously, disclaimer: Al won't like me saying this. She didn't watch the series, right? So. <laughs> Sky, I loved it. I absolutely loved it. I the really, and where you she will love it. Wet wipes, genius. <laughs> Anyway, this is what team works for, so it doesn't matter. But I'd watched it. So we walk in, and Al's thinking, that's Coco Sorrell. Yeah, the TikToker. You're right. I recognised her. Now she's giving it the chat. I didn't On know it day. was her. I didn't know it was Coco Sorrell. No way. Al was like, that was, when we left, she was like, that was Coco Sorrell. And I was like, no, it wasn't, because I'd watched the series, and she wasn't in it. No. They only gave us three episodes. She must come in later. So anyway, I was like, no, no. that wasn't her. Are You're you... wrong. You're wrong. You're mistaken. Yeah. You got that wrong. You she do, wasn't in you it. You think you know better. You silly bitch. Yeah. She wasn't in it. Yeah. And then we looked it up and it was her. And she is in it. So. so. Yeah. She was right. Yeah, as so, always. You know, she went. But it was really fun. No, it we was were really in and fun. Out. And we met this really cool guy. He's called Danola Gray. He was just really cool. His poses were cool. And we're like fanning around. Big yeah, people. like he was like making us photo. look at Pinterest pictures Jeez. before we did the photo. And I was like, well, that's genius. Because then you know what you're doing. I was thinking, why have we not done that before? We've never done that before. Genius. Because we're not very good at the... No, we're not. We're not very good at the influencing side of things, are we really? And it's... he was a full-blown influencer. Right. He's got hair. And like, you know, and you can see it. Yeah. One of your eyebrows hasn't been laminated this morning. And it's sticking out, oh, so maybe it's that. Get it down! Let's stick that down. You want nothing else, babe? <laughs> Don't kiss me with those lips. <laughs> like, like, knock you me got... out. Someone commented on our video saying, gee, your lips are to die for. Random video. Someone also said that my armpit hair gave them... Uh, yeah. What did, did they say? No, but did you see that... That it, it um, um, triggered them? Yeah. I think people use the word trigger wrong. I agree. I agree. Can I tell you, Because triggering's quite serious. How has my armpit hair triggered you unless you once got, like, but headlocked they... by someone with, like, really big armpit hair or something? I know, and now people use triggering to be like, oh, I'm Mexican, I'm triggered by pineapple on pizza or whatever it is. Like, it doesn't make yeah, sense. Yeah, it doesn't make sense. 
make it make sense. But the better comment, go on. Uh, well, there's one girl stated to her armpit hair, right? This comment goes, she's got armpit hair and it's stroking me. And then Im like immediately, one eight, girls. Eight, eight girls come to your defense, grow up, you're too sensitive, grow up, get a grip, girl, grow up then, how so? And I think, go oh, on, go on. How do you like me then? How do you like me now? And I thought, go on, girls! Thank you so much for coming so to our good, defense. So good, girls. I'm um, obsessed with you. The better, the better one, go actually. On. This made me howl. Stop! So, you know we were talking about your tuberous breasts? Yeah. The comments on that video are so funny. Have the girls got tubey boobs then? Yeah. Two people said, get them pierced. Well, I had them pierced. My nipples just deflated around the piercing, and then my piercing kind of just disappeared into my areola. She says, it's a common PCOS issue. Yes. Having tuberous breasts? I've heard that. Someone said you can get a latch assist. Eh? Oh what, like suck it out? <laughs> she said no more, you can go. Imagine me wearing like a breast pump for breast milk and I've got no milk. I thought, oh my god, I was like, what do I have to do? Take it on a night out and before my one night stand, pop into the bathroom and start pumping my teat. That's not right. Let's look up latch assist. She said, assist. don't worry babe, you can get a latch assist. <laughs> <laughs> I really appreciate that, but I don't think that's good. I think I'll probably skip the latch assist. Babe, it is actually a suck. It's like a breast... Oh my god, so it's full breastfeeding. Latch yeah, assist. so you just suck nipple it out. Nipple averter. Is that what it is? It's it gently draws out a flat or inverted nipple. Babe, that's what you need. Why has it got a plug? Oh, well, I best get that on my Christmas list. That could go in the stocking. <laughs> It's only 650 and it's in stock. Come on, girls. Babe, imagine being on a night out, going home with a boy and being like, so ever so sorry, wait there, babe. Not letting him turn you on or anything, or like, you know, like just getting aroused. Wait there. <laughs> Pumpy pump. You need two, because then it's quicker, you can do it at the same time. I wonder if you do it regularly, whether my boobs will get used to it. Yeah, maybe. And I've latch assist them out permanently. <laughs> too funny. Hilarious. The girls are brilliant. <laughs> the fact that people know about Also, that two as different well. sizes, that's good, isn't it? Just JIC. Yeah, J oh, yeah, definitely. JIC, you've got different sized boobs. That is hilarious. Hilarious. Gently so drawing funny. out a flat or inverted nipple. Well, <laughs> never felt more seen <laughs> in my life. <laughs> Don't worry, baby. <laughs> I'd love to reply to her and say, so do you take it out and about with you then? Or do you just put, put it on I before? bet you some people do, babe. Yours aren't bad, but if you had really bad tubes. If breasts, you had inverted, and my boobs have gone a bit, um, three-day-old balloon. You know when you find a balloon under the sofa? Deflated. Little bit saggy skin. Your hair looks so nice. My dad turned 80 on Friday. Yeah, can we talk about that photo on your Instagram? Why do you look 15? It's not fair. Did you put a filter on that? Bible not. Did you face tune that? No. Swear to God. Did I face tune? Have you met me? No. I, I did think it would be off-brand. No. Why do you look so young. I've actually, Botox, I saw that and I thought that is so annoying. Why does she look 15? Let she me look like, at it. Let me look like at it in real life. Benjamin buttoning. Rewind aging. It's not fair. Rewind the clock. Me and my dad. I've texted you three times about that and you haven't responded. Babe, I look haggard. Don't worry about it. You just need to zoom oh, in. put the Paris filter on it. That's Oh, annoying. I did Paris filter oh, always. fine. God, yeah. you do look like an old... You look an old hag. You don't, you look amazing. I look 10, 10, obviously. You look young though. Look at my little dad. There was one photo you put up with him and I thought, oh my God, you're his twin. Babe, look you at this him, picture of me, my mum and my dad. Person. We are literally identical, look. You look 15, babe. Are you mad? Maybe it's the hair. I it's the hair. It's because I've gone back to my like roots. Like this is how I should look. It ages you to try and change your identity. <laughs> you look real. I actually think the blonde, should, I mean, I do love the copper, but. I know. I think the blonde makes you look younger. I think it does too. What the heck? That's. I, I think it's because you look like you're. If natural. I could dye my hair blonde and look 15, I would. Do you no, know what baby, I mean? No, but baby, you look young with your brown. Oh, yeah. You'd look I older blonde, brown. I think. I think that about Kim. When Kim dyes her hair platinum blonde, she looks old. There and then know. as soon as she goes back black. Yeah, back to black. Okay. That's good to know. Then, yeah, so stay like that. Well, this is stage one, girl. So huge shout out to Larry King and Sky at Larry King because she was epic. You know when someone just really looks after you, like she was incredible. Larry King really kindly hashtag gifted my hair. Sophie Larry basically messaged her. So I met this girl right at this event and she does the PR for Larry King. And are you listening to me? Yeah, she does the PR for Larry King. I met her at an event. And I basically told her that I was going through a hard time and I felt like I probably needed did a hair change so the fact she did Larry King feels like a blessing in disguise anyway she got me an appointment and I was so so grateful because it does make a huge did they cut it as well they did a little dye. little trim, trim. Um, but yeah incredible incredible like I was so so like grateful 
Yeah, we're the same. You are the same. I look really like my dad, I think. I look I, I like my dad more, but my mum is just blonde and we have the same mannerisms. Yeah. But you look so like your dad. Especially when he was younger, we look really oh, alike. He turned 80. 80, and we went for a really nice supper, and then we went to this incredible jazz night. Oh my God, I if you, you need to go. What is it called? It's called the Leo Green Experience at the QT. It was epic. It was really cheap. The tickets were like 35 quid a person and 25 quid if you don't want. Or if you're 80. No. Or people get a discount? No, you have to pay more because 35 pound to absolutely have a seat and I was like well my dad can't be standing oh. and it was so good Leo Green's this saxophonist and he was epic highly recommend if you're looking for something fun to do in London Who's this? did your dad have a little one-two boogie did yeah he got up he had a little boogie yeah we had a great time oh, and that's so fun babe so special that he's here to celebrate with us we're so grateful to have him yeah yeah 80 doesn't actually sound that old, but in real life it's kind of old. Well, it depends, doesn't it? Because some people are 80, you know, like My grandma and... is 80 and could run a marathon. Yeah, there you go. Seriously. Yeah. The woman, it's quite bizarre. Yeah. She could do a headstand if you asked her. Yeah. Like, she's insane. Yeah. Isn't that funny? Can I say I actually yeah. think it's living in a hot country? Apparently. There's that programme that's been on about how, like, different people around the world live and how that affects their ageing. Apparently it's a lot to do in Asia. A lot of the time they sit on the floor and you always have to get up so from the true. floor. That is so and it true. keeps you really nimble that is so true and, like mobile i also think the heat really helps your joints don't get creaky yeah babe that estee lauder stuff's a bit expensive the estee lauder primer that we got it's ysl but yeah oh <laughs> sorry <laughs> rewind really good really good try babe go again okay well i want to talk to you first about the estee lauder stuff that okay. that guy mentioned what's it called again advanced light repair serum botox in a bottle it's currently on offer at look fantastic it's still absolutely extortionate but apparently it's worth it how much is it about 40 quid oh babe that will last you ages. i think full price it's like 80 no, that's for the small bottle. Try, get the 40. Right? Okay, and get the little bottle. Get the little bottle. I'm such a cheapskate. I just hate spending money on anything. See, to me, 40 pounds for a serum sounds like it's a lot. not like a holiday. It's not a lot. Do you know how much my Nivea is? I know. But, £2.50. But that's the thing, is that if you've never spent money on skincare, it feels like a Yeah, like a pinch. whereas you, you've had to. I've spent so much money on You've had food. to with your cystic face. No, I have. And my retinol is 150 pounds every three months. But I don't have a choice, oh. so I just think 40 quid, bargain. Okay, well, maybe I'll buy it tonight then and I'll let you all well, know. Well, babe, if it's going to keep you looking like that, you best, because it's unfair. Yves Saint Laurent. YSL, yeah. Yves Saint Laurent. Yves Saint Laurent. If you really want to be French about it. Yves Saint Laurent. If you really want to be French about it. The Prima. The Prima. No, I told you. It's epic. epic. What's it called? I don't know. We it's must got find it. The gold flex in it. It feels like heaven like on your skin and your, your makeup skin. just sits so nicely. Touche Eclat Bleu Prima. Oh, is that it? It's a touche yes. clair. Sorry, say that again. Are you French? Go on. Touche clair. Very good. Touche clair. I don't know Blur. what that means, but... Blur primer. Blur. Blur. Babe, it's on offer. Babe. On offer at Boots, girls. I'm it's gagging epic. for a coffee. Okay, so we're going to do something fun today, aren't we? <gasps> Babe! Sorry, but it looks like this. What? I want everyone to see it. Okay. I'll just put a picture. Such an influencer now. I don't even like makeup and I love this stuff. <laughs> I'd buy it. I'd buy buckets <laughs> of it. <laughs> What, what, what were you going to say? Yeah, we're going to go and... Can no. I say? It's not that exciting. Yes, baby, you can say. We're not going to a secret. <laughs> can I say? We're about to go and deliver a baby. Oh, my God. We're going to go She's and try a, baby. a festive menu. Woohoo! This is when, if we were really produced, there would be confetti, green and red confetti. Festive menu. Boof. Boof. Christmas. Where are we going to go? Are we going to do some from a few? Are we gonna... yeah, I just need a coffee. So where can I get a Christmas coffee? Well, everywhere's doing Christmas coffee. Coffee fee. Guess what? You will die. What, babe? I cancelled on a friend this morning because of filming. I couldn't get everywhere in time. It was just all too stressful. So then I was like, let's reschedule for an evening in the week. She's teaching. Teaching every evening, Amy VS, who teaches at Dignity. Every also. evening! Well, Monday, Tuesday, which is the evenings I'm free, so I have to meet her on Tuesday at. Drum roll, please. 7 30! Oh, gross. On a weeknight! Yeah, for her, that's midnight. Can you see how orange my hands are, by the way? Why well, have you been fake tanning? Yeah, but it's not really fake tan, it's moisturizer, but it's got a babe, little. Babe, do you sometimes forget that you're Asian? No, babe, in the winter, I look. Babe, is this mine? Possibly. Yeah, because I've lost mine. Yeah, I think I have two knocking around. Oh, good. <laughs> Can I tell you, I've really got into Cafe Nero vibe because their pistachio lattes. Well, why don't we just go to Cafe Nero then? Level. Yeah, but is that a Christmas item? What other... They'll definitely have a Christmas menu at Cafe Nero. Well, I just woke up and then I changed the sheets and what then. What the hell? It's I not tried right. to have sex with all, but sort of gave up on that. Kind of like started and then I fell back. 
back asleep, so then that was that was like Babe, what mid blowy? No, we were just cuddling. Oh, it was just the star. I, no, it was the real a, yeah, star. It was just the real. No, we, I it wasn't was a canopy. Mid -blowy. <laughs> it wasn't even into the star. It was the aperitif. Fine. Hello. It was a palate cleanser. <laughs> yeah. For God's sake. If I'd fallen asleep mid blowy, babe, there'd be something seriously wrong. With I've me. I've fallen asleep mid ride before, me so too. don't worry about me it. Me too. Have you ever done a humongous fart mid ride? Like mm, huge. Props. Yeah, me mm. too. Oh yeah, I well I once pooed my pants. Okay. <laughs> They've got a mince pie, I'd smash a mince pie. I haven't had one yet. Right, well, let's go. And I love a mince pie. Okay, okay here's really? the festive beverages. You no, wait, no, I want to tell you about the festive beverages. I know, but I'm telling you, okay, all the girls How have already told snacks? us oh, okay. where the festive beverages are. Doosh. Imagine if I just went, doosh. Millionaire's hot chocolate. She doesn't even care, she doesn't even flip. Panatoni latte. Ooh, yummy. Yummy, where's that from? Florentine mocha. Just can't go Nero, babe. Oh, KFC has a festive burger. McDonald's has festive oh, yeah, things. Okay. Cheesy dippers from Mackey's. Why is cheesy dipper Christmas shit? Because it's cheese, maybe it's a different cheese, like camembert. I ate my body weight in camembert last night and I actually had a cheese hangover what this morning. What did you morning. do last night? I went to the pub with Holly and George and Faye. Where did you go? We went to Duke on the Green. You went to Duke on the Green? Wow. What? That's like posh territory. No. Yeah. Well, oh, I've just dribbled a bit. <laughs> Where are these from, babe? I have no idea. What? They're from some tiny little shop in Cheltenham on the way back to London. Oh no, they're from Reading. Very different to Cheltenham. <laughs> we had to go via Reading to drop a friend off at the train station and then there was a real Oh, oh I see, shop. and there was a little shop, and you got a little wafer. A wafer. A cacao wafer. Cacao. I might need to go and do a cacao ceremony soon, I think. I would really want to do that. I think I want to do it in the summer, though. No, cacao ceremony is a winter thing, though. No, babe. Yes, babe. Oh, my God. Ayahuasca you want to do in the summer. Ayahuasca. Ayahuasca. <laughs> you know when you take ayahuasca, you're supposed to do like literally one drop of essence. Apparently there's a, you know what ayahuasca is, right? Yes, babe. Apparently there's this guy. I'm a hippie. Who, who ate, oh, sorry. Cool. Sorry, cool. You forgot. Sorry. Apparently this guy ate the whole ayahuasca fruit and he's like forever. In a coma. Basically, yeah. No, ayahuasca is dangerous stuff and that is not, unless I was born in a tribe. South America. Is it in South America? I don't know. I don't know where ayahuasca is from actually, where it originates. You can't catch me doing ayahuasca in a ceremony led by someone that just got stuck there on their gap year. You couldn't pay me 10 grand. No way, no rest. judgment. You do you. If you've got answers you're looking for, go for it. But what the hell? That did sound a bit judgy, Soz. No, it's not. Why is that judgy? Maybe I am judging. Maybe I don't think what should Well, be... maybe I'm escaping my people-pleasing tendencies. Oh. Maybe I'm getting a bit judgy. Oh, maybe this breakup <laughs> is making you new person. This breakup has been very good for my people-pleasing. Good. Why? Well, because I made a decision for myself based on nothing else so and no one it. else and the feelings I would hurt and the opinions that I would muster up. I'm so proud of you. Thank you. That's really it actually was all really for me. Yeah. All for me and her, this little girl. Rightly so, babe. That's why I look 10, because look, we're the same now. Yeah, all you need is a fringe. All I need away. is a full fringe. But I am so proud of you. Thank you. Because I think you're doing as good as you can every single day, and that's all that anyone can ever ask Excuse you. me? Yeah, that's exactly it. You should hear my playlist at the moment in spin. Sad girl sad. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. What's wrong with being? What's wrong with being? What's wrong with being confident? Mm. I played a bit of Katie Baser, actually. Babe! Girls are loud! Are we gonna go? Ah! What are we gonna do? Sell a limb to be able to go? No, we'll just get a ticket as soon as they come up. Do are they with the MI? Who are they with? Good question. What record label are they with get and how Google. do we get in with them? Get on wait! Right oh, I'm honestly oh, gosh, lame! Babe. Okay, wait there. We must go. No, we must. No, I'm, like, it's actually not negotiable. Do you know how many bangers girls are allowed to have? Yes, babe. Promise I made. Promise I made. Started to fade. Started to fade. Babe! I'm just a love machine. Bleed in my fantasy. It's the sound of the underground. The beat of the drum goes round and, round and around. And it's 35 degrees in the shade. We must go. Polydor. Guess who that is? Ah! Everyone is going to be wanting those London dates. I know. Everyone who oh, knows I anyone travel. in the industry. I would travel. If we're only going to get industry tickets if we go in London. <laughs> babe, this driving is so low, sorry. God, it has got a bit of horsepower in this car. Oh, yeah, it? babe. I feel bad that you're not going to get to drive this. I know, I can't believe that. Hey, what well, a pisser. When Sammy leaves, Sammy, you can have the TV. Yeah, I'm going to have the Sky Glass. Yeah, so that's No, nice. but this is what I mean about the gifting. I don't care. I'm in my greedy era now. And I want all the gifting. And I want the girls to work just as hard on the gifting as they are in our career. <laughs> Look at me, no, I shamelessly no, was like, I literally messaged this girl and I was like, babe, 
I saw the email come in saying, can I have a jumpsuit? You haven't replied to the email. Oh, did they give me one? Babe, hello, I forwarded it to Georgina Freed. I haven't seen it. Too busy. Too busy for it. Am I getting one? Yeah. She Great. said, no problem, pick whatever you want. No, she didn't. I swear to God. I saw the email and I thought, why would I want one of those jumpsuits? No, I know. It's not very you. It's very me. Yeah. No, Sophie, this incredible girl, I was like, listen, babe, I'm going to be shameless. Can you get me a free hairdo? Because I'm skint and I need to change my hair because it's honestly the be all of end all between me being able to carry on and just passing away. Yeah. And she was like, yes, babe. Don't ask, don't get. Oh my God, Lucy and Yak are going to give me a jumpsuit. Yeah. Come on! I best reply. You're I'm going to reply and Babe, say. Have you not been in our emails all week? Well, I never go in our emails. I never. Well, I don't. You? That's none of my business, to be honest. <laughs> Babe, that is actually. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> if you want to talk about things that are your business. <laughs> That could not be more your fucking business. It's none of my business. <laughs> you deleted Georgina Free, did you? <gasps> Babe. Maybe I deleted it. I thought, oh, Ali Mac, delete. <laughs> That'll be something to none do with None of my fucking business. None of my business, what she's talking about. Oh my God, it is. Girls, listen, hey G, thanks so much. Of course, I'd love to send you a Maggie Gemma to let me know your colours, sizing and poster address, and I'll get that sorted. Sophie, another Sophie. I'll lay you off because you were heartbroken. I'm going to message them right, right now. Right when you were heartbroken. And I'll have to right. say to her, I'm so sorry. I just broke up with my boyfriend, so I've been in a hole of misery. Hi. God, I'm over the moon, babe. Why didn't you just reply? You know my size. God, what are you for? What are you here for? If not that. <laughs> I told you you needed to take over, take the lead. You know? <laughs> that is one thing I thought maybe she might like to do it herself because. <laughs> one thing she might want to pull her finger out because with, getting herself some clothes. <laughs> no, I'll let you off. It's none of your business at the moment. You let me know when you're ready for it to be your business. It's my business right now. I can't no, wait. I mean, everything. <laughs> you let me know when you're ready for all of our business to become your business. Cadbury's again. Easter. You're absolutely right. Babe, our inbox is so exciting. I, I know. What's Cadbury's trying to do with us? Who's Cadbury's? All these it yeah, already sent it to Fran. Don't you worry about that. Oh god, Danny Insurance also has been back. Don't worry, he said he's coming back. I've already seen that. When I said I'll man the fort, babe, I did mean I'll man the fort. I didn't mean I'll pretend to man the fort. None of my business, none I your say. Business. Absolutely none of your business. None of my business. This surely doesn't charge on a Sunday, does it? Well, even if it does, we're not going to pay it. I've had two parking tickets this week. Rule breaker, soul shaker. shaker. It's such a rule breaker. Ooh. Is it Ooh. new? No, it's actually, it's from Tala. I got you it just wanted to wear black. Because we can. What are you gonna get? I fancy something a little bit fun. <laughs> okay, she's feeling fun. I never really go fun. I don't, girls, babe. I tell you where I'll take one for the team. I can eat the festive menu. Drinking it, I'm not so into. Babe, babe I've got some bad news for you. Oh God. A button fell off that mango top. That but is very, no, it's very bad good news. Good news. Because when you no, return, it, return you say broke. So why did you say I have bad news? You should have said it's I good have good news. news. I've got good news. Hello. I can't believe that jumpsuit. I'm over the moon. Have you seen it? Yeah, can I did I show go, you the one I looked I mean? on the website. I'm going to go for this one. What colour? What was the other I color? thought it was a darker, but maybe I've made it up actually. Color. No, it was this one. Okay, let's go and get a drink. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, muzzle top! And then we'll, when then when we run our on our return, we shall answer some things. People sent me things they wanted us to talk about. Like what? So we best do that for the girls. Why did they send that to you? I put a little story up because I'm a hashtag Today? influencer now, yeah. Oh, well done, hashtag influencer. I didn't do any of that sort of shit. We always look so put together. What are your secrets? Honestly, babe, by the end of the day, I was saying this to Holes the other day, I'll get home from a day out. I am disheveled. You don't want to I've see got me. mascara down my face. My, my face. hair's a mess. Yeah. I'm oily poily. I've got like camembert down my front. I've got coffee on my bum. God, so many. I know. It's fascinating that people actually give a shit. Can I tell you, someone read this. More raw. And his ego is just enormous. Through the roof. And I think he you. He must be knocked down a peg or two. I I'll know. Your friend. And also, you. Feeling a bit big for his boots. Isn't he? Isn't he? <laughs> Isn't he? And I thought, you didn't even want to do this. Also, you I'm his biggest champion. Like, listen, I back Raw till the cows come if home. If Raw and I have a fight, to take Raw's side. That's Every time. Fight. Like, because he's always right. And I love him as if I chose him for myself. But he must not get carried away. He must not get too big for his <laughs> <Says us. laughs> He must not be DMing brands Says demanding <laughs> free clothes. He must not. When we were getting the Lululemon stuff, he was like, do you think you could get me something? I was like, no. No. Absolutely not. What What have you done to deserve that? Then he'll guilt trip me and he'll be like, yeah, but I dropped the flowers for you. And I'll be like, oh, oh okay, he I feel did. Bad. He's yeah. so good. Yeah. He knows what yeah, he's he doing, knows. our raw. He's collecting all these shit so that he can cash in one day when we get all the free stuff. He's a good boy. Love you. Love you. Okay, let's go get a coffee. Come on then. Cheers. Cheers, babe. Can you believe Ali Mac inhaled? No, guys, I literally <laughs> drank it like it was 
Christmas juice. <laughs> and then she just went to go and get a second because she loved it so much. And I thought I was gonna hate it. So what is this? The panettone latte from Cafe Nero. I like that they've gone panettone. It's a little bit different. I know. It tastes a bit like, I can almost taste the raisin. What I could have got behind is if the Florentine mocha wasn't a mocha and it was a coffee. Maybe they could have done it without the mocha part. Have you ever had a gingerbread latte? Yeah, so, I think yeah. I have. Love a gingerbread latte. I hate pumpkin spice latte. I think it's disgusting. I don't even think I've ever had a pumpkin spice. But you're Sorry, quite a basic bitch. First bit. mince pie. Is it? I'm not, you're way more basic than me. Nibble. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> love. Wow. This really reminds me of village halls what? and churches. You didn't grow up in the countryside. When you go to a little C of E primary school and you have to go I to know, the village I didn't hall. Do that. Did you ever used to do Chris Tingle? No. What's that? You get this huge orange. If anyone knows what Chris Tingle is, I can't remember why we did it. You get this huge orange and you put a candle in the top. Oh, you put I know. Sticks, yeah, we did that. Mixed yeah, we did do that. What the hell was that for? Something to do with Jesus. Burning it off. <laughs> what was that? So this isn't. And then you'd go to the Amaretto church. Amaretto mince pie. Go on, girl, getting a bit boozy. Your breath. What? It's like when you eat, you can't breathe. <laughs> Chris Dingle means Christ child and originates from the Moravian church. A symbol of Christianity, Chris Dingles are made from an orange decorated with red tape, sweets, or dried. I think I like it. Oh, yeah, wow. A little bit almondy. I don't normally like mince pies, and that's really nice. I don't have a mince pie. The orange symbolises the world. There's so many things at school that we oh, did that like, I just won't understand. The recorder. Do you still know the Lord's Prayer? Why did we learn the recorder? What the hell are they doing teaching children? Every child in this country. It's a gateway instrument, babe. And if you love the recorder, one day you'll play the sax or the clarinet. Oh, true. Do I still know the Lord's Prayer? Yes. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. Hail earth as within heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and, and forgive us our sins. trespasses. Forgive us as those who don't trespass against us and lead us not into temptation. But for thine is the kingdom, the power no. and the glory yes. forever and ever. Amen. <laughs> thine is the glory, the power of temptation. La, 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 la. La, 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 we la, used to la. God's word. La, 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 la. <laughs> the big man. We used to have this school prayer. Prayer. <laughs> <laughs> what? We used to have this. <laughs> Sorry, are you saying prayer wrong, or are you saying he was like a prayer, the person that prayed? <laughs> the prayer. <laughs> Sorry, what? Prayer? You don't say prayer. The Lord's prayer. Babe, you're having me on. I'm not. school prayer that came in like, he was the prayer i say computer computer yeah my mum always goes computer because i say computer computer prayer. the lord's prayer you're on crack <laughs> <laughs> babe you don't say i'm gonna no yes when have you watched one of those films where they all sit around the table before supper and someone goes the should lord's we say prayer. a prayer ali would you do the prayer tonight what do they say prayer what do they say prayer stupid the lord's prayer babe prayer. that's fake no let me know that's that babe, is fake every time you do this i win <laughs> i wish you'd sort of stop putting me in the tenerife for the sleep temp but my god my <laughs> arse cheeks are sweating so hot prayer <laughs> Prayer. I'm gonna get the woman on Google to say it. Did I tell you about when Thane read that tin and she said jalapenos Excuse instead me? of jalapenos? <laughs> <laughs> That's like you with prayer. <laughs> Babe, sing the song Living on a Prayer by Bon Jovi. Living on a prayer. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, why can't I turn the stupid. Okay, here we go. Silly, silly bitch. Okay. Prayer. Every time. What was the last one you did this with and you were so wrong? It happens to me all the time. You know what? You actually do live in your own world. Duh. It's Ali's world and we're just in it. We're all in it. She's a leading lady. And if it's prayer, it's prayer. Imagine you as a little child going, Miss, please may I say the Lord's Prayer today? <laughs> <laughs> may I lead the prayer, Miss? It's not very posh, is it, to say prayer? No. No. Is there a man who says the prayer? Pray, I thought he was someone that came in and he was the school prayer. It's not a priest, babe! A chaplain. Yeah, we had a chaplain. 
I had a chaplain when I went to posh school. There were so many things that just didn't make sense at posh school. That's what I thought. Because <laughs> yeah. I obviously went to state forever, like normal, like rough and tumble school. Skirt by my ass, my makeup so thick, my dream mat moves would just oh like rub off God. on my white shirt. I was just a normal gal, you know? Have a nose piercing in, living life. Anyway, I went to post school for sick form. My God, everything that changed. Yeah, no, it's all different. The big thing I remember, A, they didn't want me to have my nose piercing in because they thought, common. <laughs> <laughs> The other thing was, they didn't like you saying Miss and Sir. You had to say the whole teacher's yeah. name. You had to say like Mr. Rodrigo. Yeah. But like at school, my school, like my normal school, you'd be like, yo, all right, Miss. All right, Sir. No, Mr. and Mrs. Or Doctor. Doctor? Doctor. There was a doctor in the house. Dr. Dorber, our physics teacher. Oh, oh, Dr. Dorber had a fall from grace. He was a big old PhD, was he? And then he was just teaching I the kids. I was a woman. Good. Inbuilt misogyny. Yeah. What a sexist bitch. A lot of the doctors at our school were women. Oh, it's because you were all girls. Actually, more doctors. Are you allowed male teachers at an all girls school? Well, no, because you, you know, sometimes you do the little dirty behind the bins with them. You shag him, do you? Yeah. Do you shag him for an A plus? Do you want to know an actually story? An actual story. I want to know an actually story. <laughs> No, actually. Oh, I watched that last night. Fuck off, Lulu. Yeah. Um, he's so cute, little Thomas Brodus Angster. Is he the little boy? Yeah, he's so cute. Liam Neeson's son. Oh. He's so cute. That film, I mean, I am like, oh, that's who I'd get starstruck by. Richard Curtis. Who the hell is Richard Curtis? Babe, I've passed away. Tell me who he is in love, actually. You actually are. Are you talking about Liam Neeson? <laughs> Babe. Rickman. Richard Curtis wrote Love Actually, you silly prick. <laughs> <laughs> Richard Curtis, tell me who he is. He's not in it. <laughs> Do I know what he looks like? Babe, he's written everything. Bridget Jones, Notting Hill, Four Weddings and a Funeral, I'm, Yesterday. I could walk past him in Tesco and I honestly swear to God wouldn't even know who he was. Like, love you. Thank you for everything you've given to this world, but I don't know who you are. He looks like my next door neighbour's granddad. That's a disservice. <laughs> he is one of the main pillars of this country. Let's of white middle class England. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, he has written everything. He's written everything, babe. Four weddings and a funeral, Notting Hill, Bridget Jones's diary, love actually, Bridget Jones, about time, he came up. war yeah. horse, Black Adam, Mr. Bean, Vicar of Dibley. Black Adam, Vicar of Dibley, I oh, forgot wow, he did Vicar of Dibley. He's really done everything. Babe. Babe. Oh my God, he's posh. He went to Harrow. Oh yeah, he's really posh. Oh my God. He, well, he writes middle class characters, come on. Hugh oh, Grant. Oh, cool, sorry. Hugh Grant couldn't be more posh boy. Yeah, sure, when he, sorry. In Notting Hill. He came up with Hugh Grant saying oopsie daisy when he climbs that fence. There's no better bit of telly than that. Okay, fine. You would get a star strike by him. But he's a genius. I was thinking Madonna might freeze me. Because she's so Snore. scary. <laughs> Her face, you wouldn't know if she was angry. I know the gays would find that re this really offensive, but I'm just not that into her. Why? I just think I could take a reliever. Wow. Name me five wow. Madonna songs. Five minutes? You only get five minutes to see the world. It's four do, minutes, do. but yeah, good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Big fan. <laughs> Biggest fan. She does sing Living on a Prayer, does she not? I think that's Bon Jovi, isn't it? With Madonna? <laughs> <laughs> Feet Madonna. <laughs> Wait, oh, I hate when we do this. No, no baby, there are so many songs. Material Girl. Did she sing Material Girl? That is Madonna. Oh, like a virgin. Oh yeah, like a like a holiday. Vir okay, I take it back. I love her. <laughs> <laughs> this is our whole life. This is oh my. Now you're living through my pain that I have to go through every single day. Like, I hate this. Here it is, that. living on a prayer. Feed Madonna. Obviously not. It is Bon Jovi. Oh, sorry. What are you thinking about, Madonna? Like a prayer. Just like a prayer. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. You know. What I'll take you there. Hug up! I'm hung up on you. Okay, those are her top five songs. This is a really fun game. Do you ever play this at dinner parties? Okay, pick an artist. Kylie. You have to name Kylie's top five oh, songs on Spotify. Okay, right now it'll be Tension. Yeah? Oops. I'll give you a clue. In Your Eyes. I'll give you a clue. Heartbeat. That's not Kylie. That is literally a heartbeat motion. Padam Padam. Yes. Sorry, that's obvious. In your eyes? No. It's in your eyes. I can tell oh, that you want thinking. me. Oh. So the most popular Kylie song, come on. Babe, she's wearing white. Living <laughs> 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 on a prayer. Feet Bon Jovi and Madonna. 
That's really bad, I don't know. Na na na. Na 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 na. Was it called spinning around? Can't get you out of my head. Oh, sorry. And then actually at the moment, Santa baby. Okay, your turn. Okay. I should well, have picked Dura, I could do Dura. Do girls allowed? I could do Dura in my sleep. Why not eating this? Because I'm, I'm just having my second <laughs> coffee. <laughs> <laughs> this is the problem with the festive menu. It I'm all for rich, it, but you can't have a drink and the food. Tea in the middle, babe. It's a mince pie. I, know, I didn't really think that through. Sure. Okay, go on. <laughs> girls allowed. Five skyscraper. What's that one where it's like? Um... Are you even naming girls allowed songs? Baby? Sorry. Okay. Sorry. Sound of the underground. Yeah. Promise I made. It's called The Promise. Is that on there? Yeah. There's a Christmas one on there. You'll never get it. I'll never get it. Gotta be um, Cheryl Cole. Say my name. No. <laughs> <laughs> Sound of the unknown. I promise I made. Promise I made. Um, I'm just a love machine. Thank you. What's the one where they go? Um, I think we're alone now. Jump. It's got to be jump. Yeah. Jump. <laughs> do, do, do. Right, got to turn that off for copyright. <laughs> Demonetized. Let's so anyway, we make a living. Girls. <laughs> Girls around, girls allowed. Girls around the block. <laughs> girls allowed. Okay, let me guess. Tickets are 250 Ooh. quid. Pre-sale? Shit, we've missed it. No, it's on Wednesday. Oh, so it's not even out yet. Babe, obviously otherwise. I'll get them. I managed to get Adele. Pre-sale. I know 9 I can do it. 9am, she'll be awake as well. I can do it. Sign up for pre-sale access. I must do that right now. I'll do it too, just in case. Okay. And I will shit myself if we get tickets. I think we'll get tickets. It's just if everyone's willing to spend the money, because it will be about, what, 100 quid? Oh, babe, I would pay 200 quid to see them. Would you? I paid about 150 to see the Spice Girls, and they were, like, I can't... No, the Spice Girls were epic. Epic. I think they will be the same. Do you think they're going to do a tribute to Sarah? Yeah, they are. They've, they've been all, all over BBC News, babe. Saying they're a bit sad about Sarah. Saying that they were doing this whole show because she gave us our blessing, and she said, I, like, please do this without me. And so they said the whole thing will be like a tribute to her. It would be so weird to do it without her. Yeah, no, that's all I wanted to tell you. This guy, I know, the one of the posh boys. Well, he's not really a posh boy, he's a farmer. <laughs> Can't have a posh farmer. But I said to him, are you like Caleb? And he was like, I'm exactly like Caleb. Love Caleb. Mm. He's a very local it's celebrity from where it's I It's a tough life, my God. Babe, farming. He was like, he get, I get up at 4.30. No, it's horrendous. Is he a dairy farmer? Couldn't tell you. Couldn't tell you. No, he grows plants. Crops. Yeah. <laughs> He sits on tractors. I don't think you have to sit on a tractor if you have a dairy farm. Mm, you do. Because well, you've still got to, you know, tend to the land. Herd the cows, sure. The girl he's seeing is a London girl. Buy her a pair of hunters and she'll be away. <laughs> and apparently her boss, he was telling us that, like, basically the people she works with are the pits of the planet. Sure. Apparently her boss has ab implants. Apparently that's the thing you can do now. Right. Been thinking about this a lot recently. Getting ab implants. Baby, you don't need them. No. Well, <laughs> you must get off our TikTok. Why? Because all I see is how to get abs. What exercise to do to get abs? No, don't the, do this. Do this to get abs. Do you want abs? I would like abs. At the moment, it's IBS stuff. Oh, Have you not seen all the IBS stuff? Like, no, it's just drink like, this concoction. So many babies. Celery. I was just talking to someone about this profession that we're going into, and I was profession like, is a fucking <laughs> strong word. <laughs> Basically, I was just having a conversation with them, and I was saying, listen, I think we have to give ourselves. <laughs> 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 I think a conversation. We sure. have to give ourselves a little grace it's because science. it's not really normal to look at yourself on screen for so long. From every fucking angle. Ever. Yeah. And I kind of think there is an occupational hazard with this profession. Even an occupational hazard of using social media. You kind of gift yourself or give yourself insecurities that you never even have. In my defense, I've always been insecure about my nose. <laughs> yeah, in your defense, you've you've always had a thing with your nose. But do you think it's heightened? Of course. Because you're looking at it. All of the time. course, we all have insecurities, but yeah. most people they just like don't look in a mirror every single day or look yeah. at the phone every single day. So every time you look, you're reminded. Whereas most people aren't reminded that often. Yeah. And I think that is the difference. I mean, do we need ab implants? Have we taken it all too far? No, I'm not suggesting you get ab implants, babe. No, I know, God forbid, I look any more hench on a spin bike. <laughs> <laughs> I look like I could do the gladiator games. Look, I'm all for do whatever you want until you get to the point where you're never happy. Because I think until that that's there's what always happens. something to there's fix. Always something. I mean, everyone could do that. You could go forever and then you look like a like a clown. Can I tell you my new rule for oh. all of this stuff? Yeah. If you can do it in lunchtime, it's allowed. Otherwise, no. Oh. You fit it in a lunchtime, do it. Okay, I actually disagree because I disagree because my hair took four hours. But other than that, if it's something that bothers you so much, do you know what I mean? Riddle me this. You're on that operating table. Yeah. Getting 
you know he's done. Yeah. You never wake up. Was it worth it? No, but you could say that about having a baby. You die. You get sepsis and you die. You could say. <laughs> Your nose. Yeah, I'll ask you about the baby, and most people say, say, yeah, worth it. I want to take the risk. Would you take the risk? Yeah, because I've taken the risk quite a lot of times for other things in my life. So you'd die for your nose. I had you'd to go die on, with your straight nose. I had to go under. You we best have an open at least, casket. Right. At least in the fucking coffin, I'd look 10 10. You know what I mean? No, I've had a general anaesthetic quite a lot of times. Why? My bum. Oh, your IBS. I would say I've been under. It's not for your bum, babe. It's for your bum. Whatever. It's all in the Bloody same area. bum. They didn't even put your implants in there. Sorry. Yeah, you're right. I didn't have a bum implant. If I did. <laughs> no, we'd know about it. Yeah. And also, I wouldn't look like I have a fucking sauce pad attached to my body. Sure. Got a pancake. I've been under four or five times. Oh, I had a knee operation too. I went under for that. Janet anesthetic really doesn't freak me out. Okay, but this time you get sepsis and you die. So, was it worth it for your nose? <laughs> no, obviously not. <laughs> but then I would say it's not worth it for a baby. Get someone else to do it. No one goes under general anesthetic for a baby. Sometimes, if it's very They keep severe. you awake in the C-section. Well, if it's really severe, then, then they don't. Okay. Oh, God. <laughs> Will you cry if you have to have a C-section and you yeah. get to push it out? I'm not, we won't even go to hospital for that reason. Holly's so anti it, she's like, why would you ever, like... Push a baby? No, but as in, like, why would you ever have a baby at home when you can have a baby somewhere where you're guaranteed to be safe? Babe, abso she's absolutely right! Yeah, I know. Are you gonna have a baby at home? No. No, I no. wouldn't. Uh, that's I wouldn't line. because that also, really I'm line. saying that now without having the actual feeling of having something inside me. I think once that feeling's amassed, I'll be like, no, way too scary. What I love when you do this. Oh, get that chin. <laughs> oily, oily chin. Let me do it. Babe, that's where I draw the line. You cannot have a baby at home. If you die on the kitchen table, on the kitchen floor, there'll be no one to clean it up. So no alb implants for you. I once got out of a cab and the guy bicep implant and it turned around. So it was upside down under his skin because we were like, oh, go on, show us your bicep. And he pulled it up and it flipped over. I just think like there's a level. We have to stop somewhere. I Eventually. Agree. I agree. What are we going to do? Like, even the BBLs and stuff. I just think like, why? It's scary. Sorry, Together. excuse me. Just moving my chair. This is so cool, isn't it? Dude, dude. Why don't you move it all the way back, babe? Oh, I move it all the way forward. No, lie back. All the way back. No, you don't, because I will actually drift off. I'm so tired. I'm so tired of this life. <laughs> Wait, Goodbye. I have to take a photo. <laughs> you could actually sleep here. 100%. Oh my god, I could pass away. You Honestly. Look, babe, you look dead. <laughs> <laughs> my depression's reached a whole new level. Babe, sorry, but you look dead. <laughs> For fuck's sake. <laughs> That's how I feel on the inside. That will be her. <laughs> <laughs> Out the open coffin. That'll be her, babe. Bury me on my mama. I'm a tiny scot. Oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> babe, you're pinching my skin, you little witch. Your therapy breakdown is because um, oh, yeah, sorry. I put on my Instagram, oh, anything we want to talk about, and everyone was saying um, sadness for no reason, like when you're just feeling a bit down. Hmm. Sadness for no reason. You've got to find the joy in tiny little things throughout the day if you can find one. Like right now, I'm thinking this cup. I feel quite joyous about that. Babe, Look at all the little people babe, on it. more than the cup. You just had a delicious coffee and a delicious mince pie. And a mince pie. And I bought, I bought some ingredients for supper that and I'm going to cook myself tonight. you've got a neon package. I can't wait to like that tonight. And you've got blonde hair. And we've been laughing about the fact that I say everything wrong. Prayer. And we've had a nice time. Oh, sorry. Oh, my finger's going to fall oh, off, guys. Sorry. Stay tuned. Don't look at it as if it's contagious. Oh, I just want to see if it's OK. <laughs> it's Woo! gone white Don't now, catch babe. it. Babe, why has it gone white? That's good. Where? Babe, look. No, that's actually not good. That means you're losing blood circulation. That's actually not a joke. I actually think my finger might fall off. Well, that Get me to A&E now. That would be a good, um, uh, like, U USP. You could like always tease me and be like, what's that over there? <laughs> and make me point at things and I wouldn't have a finger. I'd have to use my middle finger yeah, to point. Yeah, that would be. And then when we were on the photo shoots and stuff, you'd have to like hide your finger and stuff. Otherwise no, I wouldn't be... hide it. Oh, you'd I'd be like this. proud. Oh yeah, okay. You know Vic Hope has that? She's missing half her finger. Could be you. Oh my God, you and Vic Hope could be twins. Finger twins. Oh yeah, we look alike. Oh yeah, great. <laughs> <laughs> um, sadness for no reason. Just be sad. Honestly, there's no hack. Just be sad. But Did you let yourself feel the feels on Wednesday or did you then just like suck it up and move on? Oh my God, Thursday, no. sorry. You had your breakdown on God, Thursday. It feels like a week ago. I know, time's moving really fast and really slow all at the same time. Um, I'm in the matrix! Yeah, I did let myself have a total nervous breakdown. Well done. Total, I mean like, total. Did you? Yeah. 
but the one thing I will say is if it's sadness for no reason, don't let yourself be sad for a week about nothing. Give yourself a day or maybe two. And, and then, then maybe like, lean into like, I guess everything you're grateful for. That's what I have to try yeah, and do. Yeah, me too. Not to be like, what you're sad about doesn't matter, but we do have so much to be grateful for. And like, sometimes the things we feel sad about, not that they're not important, absolutely but not. they maybe don't matter so much. In the grand scheme of yeah. life, you then know. Also, if it's been a while and you're still feeling really sad, maybe you need to go and see a doctor or a mental health professional. Yeah. Or this charity that Neon worked with. Yeah. Any other questions? Oh, so many. Oh, you're good at this. Anxiety around Christmas time and pleasing others, e.g. Oh, family. Because you don't love Christmas, do you, big no, Scrooge? I'm a bit of a grinch. <laughs> Yesterday when you messaged me and you were like, I love it, it's Christmas here. I thought, oh, fuck off. What was? When you texted me that you were at Westfield. Oh, because I went to Westfield this weekend, which is Black Friday weekend, and Al was like, you've actually had a seizure. Like, are you well? No, well, because I finished spin and then I had a big cry in my car and I thought, well, I need to go and spend all my money. Oh, sure. That's what yeah, happened. Of course. It was mental. Well, the fact that you... I drove there, it took me 40 minutes to get there, and then I walked around, got battered and bruised by thinking. the general public, bought a candle, and then I went home. You went all the way for a candle? Well, no, I went all the way to spend all my money, but it's always the way that when you want to buy always, things, when you, when you, you can't. And when you, you want to save money, if you want to, you want to buy everything. I was honestly ready to show my bank account. I'd have given, I'd have given a kidney to buy something. Nothing I wanted. Not one thing. Bummer. What's the question? How to deal with Christmas anxiety? Yeah. Okay, I've been thinking about this a lot recently. I do actually get it, because it's, it's being around family for like that extended amount of time it's sometimes. It's feeling like the obligation to see these people. And yes. Like, it's ever, it's like, yeah. and it becomes a tradition that you want to avoid. I think something that I've realised is that it's just like a season of life mm. and it's going to happen. So you can resist it all you want, but it's going to, Christmas is going to come. All the Christmas stuff is going to happen around you. So as much as you can, try not to like, oh, I hate it, because then you're just going to hate everything about your life for two months. Find the bits you do like about it, I guess. Like the lights. Yeah. Or like, just don't even really like deep it. Yeah. Just like live life as yeah. if like, oh, it's just Every day's normal. Like it's just Christmas, yeah. whatever, no big deal. Yeah. And then the stuff that you really have to do, it's just a day or however long of your life. Like it's not forever. The stuff that you have to do. I have those things, by the way. It's a day of my life that I will never get back, but it's also something that I have to do. So no matter how much I could, I, I used to do this, get myself into the rabbit hole off to the point where like I would I'd not be able to breathe. I was crying so much I wouldn't want to go. What's the point? You're still mm. going to have to go. You have to do the thing. As painless as you can make it, do that. That's the thing. I think there is a way, especially as you get older, that you can put in boundaries that make it work for you. Yeah. Like sometimes I will drive for example. So then I don't have to like get really drunk yes. or stay late. Whatever it is, I'll like find a way to like make sure it works for Absolutely. me. There will be some things that you can cherry pick and mm. like take joy from. And the rest of us just take it or leave also, it. Also take lots of wee and poo breaks yeah. during the day. Yeah. It all gets a bit overwhelming. Yeah. Christmas is so hard for so many people. It really is. And it's the weird thing, isn't it, about Christmas more so than any other time of year. It's the pressure to look like a perfect family. And that you're having an absolutely brilliant yeah. time. There's loads of things around Christmas that are actually really difficult and they're all on crack they're dialed up to 10 everything's oh, yeah. dialed up to 10 oh, yeah and for some people that's a lot and that's really overwhelming okay would you rather don't be gross you little menger would you rather have no eyebrows or no fingernails no eyebrows well baby you're actually heading away. that was actually a bit below the belt <laughs> Okay, your turn. Would you rather only be able to walk backwards or have to jump everywhere? Walk you backwards. don't walk, you jump. Walk backwards because you know when you're walking and you think, oh my God, I bet you they're saying something interesting behind me, but you can't look. And then I could know everything about what everyone was saying behind me. I'm so nosy. That's something you have to know about me. You're the nosiest. I'm the nosiest. Also, she's shameless. She just stares and listens like this. Schnog. 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 Shag, marry, kill. Fred. Syria. Nigel Farage. Sam Thompson. <laughs> I think, I I think that's marry quite Fred. Easy. Duh. Shag Sam, kill Nigel. He is ripped, by the way. Fred. Is he? My God. Whoever his personal trainer is, bravo. Bravo. So, so. Snog, marry, kill. Gino, Gordon, yeah. Fred. I'd still marry Fred. Which is? Shag Gino, kill Gordon. Do you want in that big house on, Shag, on, on Wandsworth they, Common? Babe, they've got six children. No, thank you. Tanya can't stop. She loves popping them out. Babe, she's 15. She's just popped one out. 49. Apparently, apparently it gets easier as you go. Vagina's so saggy, they just fly out of there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> God, I best go and buy my nipple thing. Yeah, and latch assist. Well, that's what you're going for. My Christmas. latch assist. Yeah. What's the Christmas present rule? Okay, Christmas present rule. I think it has to be something that aids a thing that we find annoying about each other. So say, for example, I won't do this because it's an easy one. I might buy you like an alarm clock. clock. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine it gets so nasty we have a full-blown cat fight because I was like, it really annoys me when you breathe, so here's one. <laughs> here's a carbon dioxide mask. Yeah. 
rather than annoying, something that you complain okay. about. Okay. Rather Fine. than something that I find annoying, because it's that's a present for me, not for you. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Okay, something, something that you, you complain, complain about, about I have to fix for you. Right. Good. Must May have. the best woman win. May the best woman win. Okay, fun. Love you. Love you. Love you. Maybe we won't love each other after next step. Yeah. <laughs> Woo. Happy Christmas. Woo. Christmas is the time for arguments. <laughs> Get the celebration box out. <laughs> Celebrate good times. Come on. Love you, bye. Love you, bye.